Hi everybody, hope you are all fine. This is Dr. Atik. I once again welcome all of you to my YouTube channel, Engineering Drive. In my today's session, let me discuss with all the NPTEL students or NPTEL aspirants that how NPTEL calculates assignment marks. So we know that this is one of the confusion that is created in many of the students' mind, many of the NPTEL aspirants' mind. I thought let me clear this doubt in a very simple manner by taking one example that how NPTEL calculates the marks of the all the assignments which you have submitted. See here, finally NPTEL should conclude one thing. What is that? If you have taken a four weeks course, best three assignments will be taken. If you have taken an eight weeks course, best six assignments will be taken. If you have taken a 12 weeks course, best eight assignments will be considered. And how NPTEL is going to calculate the average? And how, what is our final marks? Each and everything I am going to discuss by taking one simple example here. So my dear students, let us take one example here. Let us say one of you have applied for a 12 weeks course. So I have taken an example of 12 weeks course because this is the course that most of the students select. Okay. And if I take an example of 12 weeks course, similarly you can calculate in a simple manner for 8 weeks as well as 4 weeks courses also. The way assignments are calculated. Now. Let us take this uh, 12 weeks course. There is one 12 weeks course, and here are the 12 weeks. And one student has got, uh, one student has submitted all these assignments. How many assignments student has submitted? Student has submitted 12 assignments total. So, and out of 100, these are the marks students have got. One student has got. So, here in week 1, first assignment student got 70, next 90, 80, 77, and so on. These are the marks a student has got. Is it right? Now, now one important thing here is that we need to do. These are the 12 weeks assignment score of a particular student. Now, whether NPTEL will calculate the average of all these 12 weeks assignment marks? Answer is no. In my previous video also I have discussed NPTEL will not, NPTEL will not consider all the assignments for the calculation of average marks, NPTEL will take the best assignments. Now here as it is a 12 weeks course, best 8 assignments will be considered. Now how NPTEL is going to select best 8, assignment, eight assignments here by seeing the marks. Whichever marks are least, those marks will be not considered, those marks will be ignored by the NPTEL. Now for example, this particular student in week 1 has got 70 marks. So this will not be considered. Next, another list marks for a student is here we can see week number 9 assignment only 68. Next week 10 only 70 and here week 12 75. Whereas the remaining marks 8 assignment marks which we are seeing here they are good enough to be considered in calculation of average assignment marks. Is it right? So this is how the best 8 assignments are picked. Okay. So what I have done here? remaining four assignments why i am not taking these marks of four assignments even though student has submitted here because the student has got considerably less marks compared to the remaining eight assignments so now in this case so what i am going to do let me show you the process of calculating the average marks now now in the previous slide here i have told you that these are the 8 assignments which I have picked to calculate the average marks. So, how many assignments I have skipped here? 4 because student has got less marks. Now, let us take one example. Best 8 assignments selected. So, we have selected these marks of the students like 90, 80, 77, 95, 85, 88, 92, 82. Why we have selected these are the best marks compared with the remaining 4 assignment marks. So these are the 8 assignments. Why I have selected 8 assignments here? Because it is a 12 weeks course. If it is a 8 weeks course, we need to select 6 best assignments. If it is a 4 weeks course, we need to select 3 best assignments. Now next step, we need to calculate the average. So sum of all these 8 numbers divided by denominator 8 and we got how much value? 86.1 marks is the average. 86.1 marks is the average. But we know one thing that NPTEL considers 25% of the assignment marks only. So we are aware as the remaining 75% is for the final exam. Okay, so what we are going to do in this situation, we need to find out the 25% of 
so by using one formula here so here we can see final assignment component out of 25 marks how much we will get let us see 86.1 into 0 0.25 so this is the 86.1 average marks into 0 0.25 why i am multiplying with 0 0.25 because i want to find out the 25 percent percentage of this 86.1 so i got how much 21.52 finally i want the marks out of 25 for assignment because of this i am multiplying this average with 0 0.25 now in this case the final assignment marks the final assignment marks of the student is how much 21.52 so my dear students this is how nptl calculates your final assignment marks is it right it is simple the thing is we should not get confused that why from 86.1 we are getting the marks to 21.52 the answer is nptl considers assignments for how many marks 25 percent of the marks only whereas the remaining 75 percent 75 percent will be considered for the final exam if there is no unprofited exam is it right so this is how the final marks of the student for a 12 weeks course is calculated by considering the eight weeks assignments best eight weeks assignments so with this let me close my today's session of video see you soon everybody take care allah peace